Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle explaining as simply as possible the world around us. This week in 5 Minute Geography we discover why rivers twist, bend and curve and don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to discover where in the world fireballs erupt from the surface of rivers. Meanders are gently curving bends or loops that develop along a river and they are the result of both erosion and deposition. Well established meanders are found on any major river around the world. But first what are the processes of erosion? As discussed in a previous video on how waterfalls are created, the processes of erosion include hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition, solution and cavitation. Hydraulic action is simply the sheer force of the moving water. Cavitation is a form of hydraulic action when air bubbles in the water collapse and these send around tiny shock waves that weaken the river bank and loosen the material. Abrasion is simply when the river uses the force of its load to further erode the river bank and the river bed. Attrition is when particles of rock and pebbles within the river bounce off each other and break each other down. You know attrition has taken place when you see those well rounded rocks. Solution is simply the chemical weathering of rock causing it to dissolve within the water. When discharge is low, rivers deposit some sediment on its bed. Moving water has to weave around these bars of sediment. This creates deeper pathways where most of the water flows, called pools, and shallow areas called riffles. This causes water to swing from side to side in a snaking motion. It flows along the surface towards the outer bank and returns along riverbeds towards the inside bank in a corkscrew-like movement. This is known as a helical flow. Water taking the longer route will need to travel faster and this section will have the most energy. The water hits the bank and begins to erode it, creating a small bend in the river and then this bend is widened by lateral erosion. Undercutting begins to happen in the bank especially during periods of high discharge or high water flow. It eventually collapses or slumps down to form this steep slope. This is known as a river cliff. As the surface flow of water hits the outer bank, it corkscrews and flows along the riverbed, then transfers the eroded material sideways and forward towards the inner bank. Here the water is slow flowing and therefore has less energy. So as a result, the material is deposited. Deposits build up over time and sand and gravel form a point bar. As erosion on the concave bank and deposition on the convex bank continue, meanders migrate and move. They move from side to side across the valley floor and migrate downstream. So a meander is simply a series of gently curving bends in the course of a river and they are very evident in the middle or lower course. Small pools and shallows develop in the river bed due to abrasion and these affect the direction of the flow. They cause the river to begin to swing from side to side and this flow is called a helical flow. The flow creates bends which grow larger due to erosion of the river bank. The velocity of water is greater on the outside or the concave bank and therefore causing more erosion. Undercutting occurs due to hydraulic action and cavitation and eventually the bank will collapse due to the lack of support. The material is carried downstream to the convex bank or the inside curve and it is deposited to form a point bar. Throughout the course of the video, we have seen different aerial views of meanders. The image here in front of us is an image taken from Mars where we can clearly see what looks like a meandering river, which leaves us little doubt that rivers once flowed on Mars. The five minute geography fact of the week. Each and every year in the Mekong River in Thailand, hundreds of fireballs erupt from the surface of the water. The local people there believe that a mythical serpent called Naga spits fire from the water. This event each year is known as Naga Fireballs. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please click the like and subscribe to the channel. And you can always get in on the behind the scene action at our Facebook and Instagram page.